M2 How-To Video Series. Step five, using the M2, scanning items and saving and viewing your data. Before we start, this is important. The item you want to scan must be placed on and surrounded by a flat surface. Use the floor or a lower height table because you must scan the item from a comfortable distance. If you are too far or too close, the M2 will advise you to adjust the M2's position. Any of the following three activities can be done in any order and capturing weight and barcode is optional. Activity one, get dimensions. Click the M2 app. Place your item on a flat surface. This can be the ground or a table. Turn on the scanner, which is the large yellow button at the bottom of the screen. Make sure the item is not touching another item and has some flat surface all around it. The green honeycomb indicates the M2 sees a good flat base surface. Hold and center the M2 at least 15 inches above the item. Press the large yellow button again to instantly capture the dimensions. That's it. Length, width, and height are populated on the screen. Activity two, get weight. Put the item on the scale. See the weight on the M2 app. Show the same value as the scale indicator. Click the scale icon on the M2 app to capture the displayed weight. Make sure the weight turns bold to lock in the weight. Okay, weight is done. Activity three, scan one or more barcodes. Point the top of the M2 at the barcode you wanna scan. Press the yellow barcode scan button on either side of the M2. You will hear a beep and see the barcode displayed. To capture additional barcodes, use the note field. Finally, it's important to save the scan. Press the save and upload button on the M2. The scan data will go into the history tab on the scan history page. While the scan data is uploading to your cloud account, you may see it momentarily on the pending page. While the M2 is working to push the data to the cloud, note you must have your M2 Wi-Fi connected to the internet in order for the data to sync. If you are logged into your cloud account, you can refresh the page to see the latest synced data from the M2. From the cloud, you can download an XLS file of the currently selected data. Pro tip, how to adjust dimensions of incompletely scanned items. If you see that the dimension box is not fully surrounding the item, then here is how you can adjust the box easily. Touch any of the length, width, or height numbers. Drag the green or red sliders to surround the item on all four sides. The M2 software will adjust the length and width accordingly. All you have to do is adjust the box edges. Don't worry about the height dimension, that's usually correct.